Hi guys, today is July 23rd, 2020 and futures are pointing to a higher open and uh, actually uh, Dow futures are flat a little bit uh, but uh, Nasdaq futures uh, are up a lot and uh, this is all coming uh, uh, from the companies reporting better than expected earnings. Uh, a lot of companies reporting, as you know, it's a reporting period right now and uh, the numbers are pretty good so far, so, so far so good and uh, Secretary Mnuchin actually came on on CNBC uh, this morning and he was asked a question if it makes sense that the market is going uh, this high and he actually said that it does make sense because of the continuous stimulus from the government and uh, rates are staying at zero for a long time and uh, that makes sense that the stocks uh, are going up and uh, he said that some uh, tech valuations are a little bit strange but then overall um, he sees that the market will may continue to go higher so um, that's uh, secretary Mnuchin uh, and uh, jobless initial jobless claims uh, also came in at uh, 1.4 million versus 1.3 million expected so worse than expected numbers so uh, but the market didn't react that much on that number because of the uh, earnings reports and the market as you know is the future looking uh, instrument pretty much so um, futures are higher. Let's see what happens uh, during the day. Okay, so let's jump to SPY ETF for S&P 500, and they have uh, this uh, a lot of uh, resistance and support lines. And uh, uh, to me, uh, SPY broke out of this uh, resistance line, and uh, to me, it's going higher. I'd actually, I'm expecting it to take an all-time high at uh, 339 dollars, and right now it's trading at uh, 326 dollars. And 81 cents pre-market this morning so uh, to me this is going higher and uh, we'll see what happens okay let's jump to uh, corporate news and uh, by the way if you want to see what I'm trading and uh, my everyday trades and portfolio you can check out the patreon link in the description of this video so let's start with the uh, probably the hottest uh, stock on the market uh, right now which is Tesla so Tesla reported earnings, so uh, surprisingly really good earnings. I mean, people were expecting good earnings, but they were rep they reported really good earnings actually. So they earned uh, two uh, two dollars and eighteen cents per share versus uh, three cents expected. Revenue was also uh, significantly uh, above estimates, and uh, they also said that they will be uh, building a new Giga factory near Austin, Texas. And uh, overall, really good report from uh, Tesla, and this is the fourth consecutive report uh, of uh, uh, earnings, and uh, this uh, qualifies Tesla to be in S&P 500. Uh, and uh, shares are higher uh, pre-market, but uh, I'm expecting actually this to be a sell on a news event, and uh, even though the shares are higher pre-market, uh, I would be careful establishing a new position right now in Tesla at these heights, and um, to me, uh, shares may come down a little bit. So I would be careful with Tesla at this point. Okay, so the next company that reported is uh, Microsoft. So Microsoft reported a beat of 12 cents, revenue also above, uh, on the heels of a big increase in demand for its Azure cloud services, uh, laptop and gaming. Uh, LinkedIn uh, revenue came in a little bit below, so that was a soft spot for Microsoft, but uh, uh, in general shares are trading lower pre-market and uh, this could be a good opportunity to get into this company because uh, this company has all the attributes for this uh, uh, COVID stay at home uh, environment and uh, I think the shares may dip a little bit today but in uh, eventually will continue resume its uh, uptrend so I would be uh, very interested in uh, buying Microsoft on the pullback okay so let's uh, talk about airlines so airlines uh, a, lot, a number of airlines reported earnings uh, LUV AAL and um, uh, Spirit Airlines, uh, all reported earnings pretty much was the same theme. Uh, all of them beat on revenue, but earnings were worse than expected. And uh, in general, I think airlines are investable uh, if you take a long-term uh, view, a long-term uh, look. So, uh, especially like uh, SAVE, uh, which is uh, Spirit Airlines, I like uh, Delta and I like uh, LUV. Okay, these three airlines are, in my opinion, better airlines and, and can be uh, invested. Uh, other airlines I would be careful with, uh, like American and uh, United. Uh, in my opinion, they're a little bit uh, more susceptible to uh, uh, changes in uh, overall uh, this virus environment. So, um, 
LUV, uh, Delta, and uh, Spirit are my choice in the airlines. Okay, okay. So Twitter, Twitter also reported earnings and shares are higher, and uh, they reported a 34% jump in the daily active users. Revenue uh, fell short as uh, ad spend uh, slowed down, but in general, the uh, active users is a big metric for uh, social media companies, and uh, Twitter active users uh, number uh, very very uh, impressive actually. So shares are trading higher, and I think. Uh, Twitter will go above $40. So I think it's pretty good buy uh, uh, in this area, like $38 area for Twitter. Okay, so AT&T. AT&T reported a uh, beat by four cents. Revenue was online. And uh, in general, I mean, AT&T is trading flat. It's a pretty good company. It will pay a pretty decent dividend, dividend and uh, can be bought in this area, in my opinion. Okay, PHM. Pulte Group, uh, it's a home builder at uh, bid by 28 cents with a quarterly earnings of $1.15 uh, uh, $1 a share. Uh, revenue higher held by uh, low mortgage rates and uh, shortage of existing homes. And uh, I mean, it's trading very high, but I think it's going higher. I mean, I like home builders a lot. I like uh, BZH and uh, I like Lennar. Uh, Lennar and I like uh, Toll Brothers. So all these home builders uh, are going higher and uh, there's a strong demand for homes uh, because mortgage rates are so low and uh, existing homes inventory is also uh, uh, very low. So uh, the home builders uh, are the way to go, in my opinion. LVS, uh, Las Vegas cents, uh, also reported numbers, uh, not so good numbers, uh, lost 31 cents, more than expected, revenue missed. Uh, I, I don't know, the casino stocks are uh, in pretty much in trouble, so I will stay away from uh, casino stocks at this point. Okay, WHR, uh, which is Whirlpool. Whirlpool is uh, an appliance maker, reported excellent numbers with uh, earnings uh, more than doubling consensus estimates. The company saw recovery in all its re regions in second quarter. Also raised its uh, full year outlook and uh, shares are obviously higher and uh, I think it's going to go uh, higher <clears throat> even though it's trading pretty high right now but uh, I think that the shares may uh, actually continue uh, on the uptrend. Okay, Bank of America. It was reported that Warren Buffett raised its uh, stake in Bank of America to 11.3% from 10.9% and uh, I think uh, uh, Bank of America is a better bank in my opinion and uh, I think the shares uh, could go higher from here. Okay, so BIAB, that's a Biogen. Uh, Biogen uh, actually reported uh, uh, yesterday a $10.26 a share versus $8.03 a share. Revenue also came in above. And, uh, but they slightly cut its uh, 2020 full revenue outlook and uh, in general I think it's a pretty good buy for me and uh, to to me uh, for Biogen. I think it's a really good company and uh, I think at uh, $280 it's a real decent opportunity to get in into this biotech. Okay, PFE. PFE had a big day yesterday and it's higher today. Uh, Pfizer and the government uh, struck a deal that the company would uh, provide 100 million doses of its vaccine um, de uh, develop uh, with its partner uh, BNTX. BNTX. Okay, so BNTX shares are actually lower, but Pfizer shares are higher. And uh, actually, the Pfizer shares uh, has been on a run recently, and uh, I think this run may continue. I would be careful with BNTX because it's trading at very high valuation, but PFE could uh, continue to to run. Okay, so Texas Instruments uh, (TXN). Reported really good numbers actually yesterday. Bid by 60 cents. Revenue also came in uh, above as demand for the ships uh, rebound. Uh, autom automotive uh, demand was a little bit down, but it's raised full year forecast. And uh, I think uh, it could be an interesting pull <coughs> buy on this pullback. I was actually buying shares of uh, TXA uh, Texas Instruments yesterday, and I think the shares may go higher. And uh, I think I was very surprised by this drop yesterday. And I think it's a very good opportunity to get into the stock. Okay, run. 
run as a uh, is a solar uh, solar company and uh, it was lifted yesterday uh, by uh, Barclays with the price target of $50 from $23 which is a big big lift uh, with the price target and um, I mean as you know Sunrun is buying Vivint Solar and uh, the shares uh, came up as you can see like for the past like two uh, what, two weeks or a week and a half more than a hundred percent that's that's a little bit crazy to me that's insane to me and it's a company a company will have a value of like uh, eight uh, and a, uh, eight and a half billion dollars and uh, they're doing residential solar roof uh, installations which is very challenging business and it's a very um scattered uh, uh, you know the the actually the uh, market share is very scattered uh, across different companies and uh, I mean they will have a lot of synergy uh, with this uh, buy of uh, Vivint because uh, they're saving about uh, 90 million dollars but uh, to me the valuation is insane just insane I mean the RSI is trading like around 92 dollars so I would be very careful with the shareholder congratulations you, uh, you made a fortune basically but I would take chips off the table for Sunrun because this is uh, trading extremely high okay IBKR uh, interactive brokers and uh, that's uh, Brokerage company uh, beat estimates by nine cents so with quarterly profit of 40 cents per share. Results were boosted by strong growth in trading and uh, commission revenue. As you know, that uh, all the brokerages are basically in the paradise world right now because uh, of the uh, inflow of the uh, traders pretty much uh, uh, recently uh, and the trading activity. So they're making a lot of money, and uh, IBKR I think is going higher, in my opinion. Okay. Snap. So Snap reported numbers. Uh, match Wall Street estimates was nine cents uh, loss. Uh, daily, daily active users rose seventeen percent, uh, which was below street forecast. Though revenue per user was better than expected, and uh, uh, in general, the Snap dropped yesterday on the results. And uh, I think I would wait for Snap to uh, go a little bit lower. So I think closer to twenty dollars, I would be interested in Snap. Okay, and I'm watching uh, shares of uh, Intel actually after market because they're reporting today, and uh, I'm watching shares of AMD because of the Intel report today. Uh, because uh, both of these companies could be very active today and uh, would be interesting to see how they trade and uh, Nikola shares are higher actually pre-market uh, I think in sympathy of the results uh, from Tesla and uh, I'm watching another company called Mist it's a uh, milestone pharmaceuticals it's uh, a smaller pharmaceutical company but it's up like uh, what, like uh, close to 100% uh, pre-market following uh, updates on it and positive development for two of its uh, drug, candidate, drug candidates and uh, 25 million private placement. So it would be interesting to watch this company, MIST. Um, so I, I'm not, I'm definitely not buying at the open, but uh, we'll see. Maybe it could be a good swing trade. Okay, guys, uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and uh, click the like button. And uh, I'll see you on Monday for my regular video.